All right, so welcome to this uh, series of videos I'm going to put together on this old international harvester. Uh, I think it's a 56 model planter. Um, it started life, I believe, as a six row, and somebody decided to hack it in half to make two planters out of it, which, yeah, okay, that works for deer hunting food plots probably. Uh, it's like 31 inch row, I think. Um, so that'll work fine for soybeans, corn. You can go back and split rows with these type of planters to do your soybeans. You know, some guys want 15 inch rows, whatever, chokes out weed better, whatever. Um, 30 inch rows, probably pretty standard on corn. Some guys go like 36 inch rows, bigger than that. But either way, you leave it wide, you can always go back and split rows to pick up your beans. Um, but it's hard to make the rows wider, so wider is better. Um, but anyway, somebody has uh, previously done a little fabrication on this thing, and we'll kind of walk through some of that. Um, the way this series is going to work is I'm going to sort of outline what I intend to do, um, like in video one, and then when I pick up you know, the next video, I'll tell you what I did, how it went, if plans changed at all, kind of recap, and then tell you what I'm going to do in the next one, and keep plowing through this thing until we get it ready to put back in the dirt and plant soybeans with it so maybe if you stick around you'll learn something about these and you'll have a little more um, knowledge if you go look at one you know maybe to buy and do your own food lots with it I will say these little planters are not something you're gonna go out and plant you know 5 10 15 acres with um, these are basically for guys that want to plant you know half acre to maybe three acre food plots you know you're going to be out there a long time planting three rows at a time if you're trying to do 10 acres so um you know kind of use your head there and if you buy one of these buy it for the right reason uh, i intend to plant corn soybeans and maybe sunflowers with it and that's about the extent of it so uh, for me it should work fine but i'll flip this around and i'll kind of take you through the planter real quick and uh, we'll go from there so, what we got here, like I said, is a three row. I think it's around 31 inches. Um, I looked at it when I bought it. I haven't looked at it in probably six months. So, it's just kind of sat in the shed and been waiting for time to get to the shop. So, this is it in all her international harvester glory. Like I said, you can see it's been chopped down before and it's got some pretty sweet uh, welding and I, I guess if you wanted to call that fabrication you could um, probably not what I'd call it but we'll just save that so there's some things I'll fix on it clearly uh, ugh. but anyway one good thing is it's a three point it has been converted these were originally hydraulic planters and whoever you know chopped this thing in half Hey, I'm going to put this on a three-point so it's easier to use. Great for me because I don't use rear hydraulics. Um, so that's what I was looking for, one of the reasons I bought it. Um, one thing I will say, if you're going to buy one of these and put it on a trailer, take you a couple old tires along because you do not want to damage those lower gearboxes uh, below that main uh, square tube there. That's the heart of what makes this baby tick. So I've got those sitting on the tires to keep them off my trailer deck from getting bounced and beat on um but yeah i can show you here in a second we'll run the wheel around and you'll see how the whole mechanism works basically the main tire drives the center drive shaft up there you can see and that's just a simple chain drive it drops down to this lower shaft through that chain drive and this square drive is what runs your gearboxes so one ground top one ground contact wheel drives all your gearboxes and that's all there is to it um, I will probably in this version this episode I'll pull that old marker assembly pulley setup off that's all gonna go away all the old chains that don't do anything they like to hang down you know in here that can be bad 
and I will get rid of those rear hopper side plates. I won't be using insecticide bins or fertilizer bins or anything like that on this one. Um, so those will be coming off. I believe the previous owner had his kids sit on those. There were like little seats on there and they would chuck seeds in. Like if they wanted to do pumpkins that were bigger than the seed plates they have, they just chuck seeds in every so often, every couple feet, and that's how they did pumpkins. But we won't be doing that. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to be my first episode is getting those three off of there, which you got to disassemble that entire rear axle assembly to get those off. I'm not just going to hack them off with a grinder. I'm actually going to take them apart. That'll give me a chance to kind of grease and clean that rear axle um, which it probably needs done anyway. Um, yeah, so it shouldn't be too bad. I mean, this thing, maybe two or three episodes and we should have her ready. Um, I'll kind of show you here something you want to look at when you go to buy one. You know, clearly you want to check the chains and make sure everything is driving the way it should. But I'm rolling the wheel over by hand and I'm turning all three planter drive assemblies. So life is good, everything works, no issues, no clicking, no popping. Yeah, that's what we got. And uh, stick around, maybe we'll learn a little something from each other in this uh, video series. The other kind of interesting thing is they used a ratchet strap as their transport lock. So. I'll look at that in this one. I probably won't fix it in this one, but maybe I'll at least get an idea how I want to do it. Um, ideally, I just want a pin I can put in there um, and then pick the planter up and haul it wherever I want to haul it. I'm certainly not going to use a ratchet strap, so that'll be interesting to see how that works out. But shouldn't be too bad. Should be able to figure it out. Next time you see this thing, I'll have it in the shop and it'll look a little bit different than it does now.